Hey, welcome back to 8Log Productions. I uh, got a message from my son today. He said, hey, I had to steal your car because mine won't start. Uh, so now it is time to figure out what is wrong with his 2005 Scion TC. Got a couple tools here that we're gonna uh, check out. We're gonna check the battery. We're gonna check the starter, um, the relays, some things like that. And then I think maybe Without looking at it, I haven't done anything with it. I don't even know if it'll crank. I don't know anything yet as of yet. So we're gonna go through kind of a few steps on what to check. Um, I got the test light, I've got the power. We've got the test light, the power probe, and the multimeter here. I'm gonna do some checking on it. Um, check the battery first, and then see what that's, what kind of voltage we are on that. Um, and then hit the key, see if uh, we get any any engagement, and then we'll go from there. Oh. All right, thankfully, he actually cleaned this thing up. All right, so now that we're in the vehicle immediately, I don't see, I mean, anything going on. Uh, the door jar light does light up. The security light button down here, right here, duh, is flashing. Um, that could very well be the issue. Key in the ignition. We have all lights. Everything works. Good thing he listens the Bluetooth so it's not blowing out our ears. But everything's on. Um, I'm gonna do a quick check of the ignition. Um, it should fire up. If everything's right, it should fire up. So we're gonna see what it does. We've got nothing. No actuation of the starter whatsoever. So I, we can check the uh, battery. That's a good place to start. Let's do that. I mean, the battery looks like it should be fine, but this may be an instance where, you know, a uh, wire came off the starter or the relay. That's what the nice power probe is for. Um, so, yeah, let's just do some checking here. All right, so now that we're under the hood, we've got the battery. It looks like a fairly old battery. It's got a lot of um, corroding here. Terminals are tight. The corrosion shouldn't be that big of a deal, but he could be a fairly old battery. I don't see 11 of 18. So it's a five-year-old battery. Um, let's grab the multimeter and check this battery out. Hopefully you can see that at rest, this battery is getting 12 and a half volts. That is good. So now that the battery's good, we can check the relays because what may have happened, unlikely, but what could have possibly happened is that the starter relay could have went out. Fan, 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 alternator, main, ST, this is Denso right here. The dude doesn't want to come out. See, we can put some voltage here and then maybe actually be able to so i can do the test probe and probe across the the contacts and then we can uh possibly hear this relay click all right so now that we have this at the test probe let's see where can you see that test probe hooked up positive i don't know if you can hear that So 
so the starter relay is good. Maybe the next step would be checking a fuse. There's an ignition fuse, so let's see. And that fuse looks to be good. We'll test it with the meter just to verify. Fuse is good. Put it back in. So now I'm kind of back to kind of where I was thinking maybe earlier with the security aspect of it. Um, we've got voltage on the battery. We've got voltage to the starter relay. Well, I don't know about actually to the starter relay, but we have a functional relay. We have a functional fuse. So let's check the actual starter connections. It looks fine. Right, we're gonna try, after just kind of messing with those a little bit, we're gonna check the, check to see if it starts again. I guess another thing that could possibly be is the park switch. So I wonder, let's put it neutral. Nope, that doesn't do it either. So I hear something like it's trying to. Like an electrical hum of some sort. So we're going to do an old school kind of trick. That old school trick is a hammer. Just try to uh, break it free. I don't know exactly the I doubt that is enough, but we are going to try. Well, that was it. So I guess we're replacing the starter. So first thing first, we need to get this battery disconnected. Okay, so to make a little room, we're gonna go ahead and pull the intake off. That'll open up this top side. Yeah, maybe we'll just take this little box here. Okay. Yeah, that'll be enough, I think. All right. So flip this here back. There's a little cover there. A little cover, flip that back. And then that looks like maybe another 10 millimeter. Actually, that looks bigger than a 10. Maybe a 13 or 14. All right, so that is a 12 millimeter. Both connectors are undone. All right, so the, the starter is completely unbolted. So we're gonna get this pulled out of here and hopefully I can figure out a way to get it up and out. It looks like I might even have to actually pull this battery tray. So I'm gonna pull the battery, see if it's just the tray. That'd be fairly easy. So the battery tray is removed. It's only one, two, three, four, uh, four or five bolts. 
that gets it pretty close to out, being out of the way. It, uh, it definitely opens up some spots where I can move some wires around. So let's see if this gets out of here now. So we're out. Um, getting that battery tray out of the way definitely made a difference. So, okay. Let's go in here and get this thing. All right, so I had the camera angle wrong. Got the new starter put in. It's just the two bolts back in, right? And then the plug. Well, this plug here, I broke the tab on it. Um, that's the bad thing about the Scion, that it's like it gets so hot under the hood, all these plastic terminals or all these plastic uh, clips are breaking. So I gotta figure out a way to get this to stay. Um, I can try a zip tie. I think a zip tie would probably work. Um, for what I need So we're gonna try that. I don't know if I want to put a Metal wire like a safety wire In there because it's you know will be conductive Yeah, that one's not even going back in there, so let's try a zip tie on this hopefully that works and doesn't become a problem um, because that is the starter relay. Oh, I think that'll work. Everything is back connected. We find the key. Oh, there they are. She ain't the strongest running car, but she's running. Started off just, just great. And want to have him keep an eye on that zip tie there. But all right, so let's go through what we talked about here. We checked the relay. The relay tested out good. Checked the battery. Battery tested out good. And the fact that I had to hit it with a hammer told me that there's like a dead spot inside that starter motor. Got it out here on the table, tested it, it actuated out just fine. Um, but I guess I didn't ever actually test the spin of the the motor. I just tested the actuator. So now that I think about it, that's probably the issue, or was the issue. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing pulled out of the garage, give the boy a call, let him know that, hey, your car's done, and the bill will be in the mail. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, goodbye. Goodbye. And just like that, another happy customer. 